gonna do or what you gonna do when they come for you bad boys filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement all suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law well they're gonna loot us westbound 59 street x-ray 6 lincoln it's like a white chevy possibly four door old can you check the hot sheet Go ahead, sir. That was him, sir, locking up his brakes to make it around the corner. I copied X6 Lincoln 31. It says no one. This car is attempting to elude us right now. Well. Oh. Wait, it's, it's not, not stolen, but he's just not stopping for us. Are we going to get on the air? 211, 60th and Elmwood, he's officially refusing to stop. Hold the air, well, hold the air. he's stopping. Get out of the car! Raise his hands! Get your hands out right out now! Car. Get out of the car! Get out of the car right now! Back here! Hands! Keep your hands up! Right now! Hands on the hood! Right there! Get down! Two eleven, you can clear it. Party in custody. Can you start a wagon? You use math fire? No. Have you ever used it? I have before. When's the last time you used it? Uh, it's been quite a while. Okay. I live right there. I'll just bring it down. Where's your address? Right there. He does he live right here? Yeah. Well, he's he's under arrest. Okay? He's under arrest, ma'am. He's going down Brighton at a high rate of speed. We're trying to catch him. Hit the lights. He's not stopping for us. I, I, uh, go ahead. Go ahead and sit down for me. You can sit. Um, when we heard when you heard the siren, it was about 59th and Elmwood is when we flipped on the siren and the lights to try to pull him over. He kept going, kept going, and then at 60th, he came up, started to slow down, pull over right here. This is obviously where he lives, and uh, that was it. So. Man, I was just trying to make it home. Man. Trying to make it home? You're doing about 80 miles an hour. What's his first name? Ronald. Hey, Ronald. Real quick. Why were you running? I went, I went, why were you? Why are you? Why were you going so fast? Man, just the typical thing. Typical thing. Damn Brighton. Huh? Damn Brighton. The typical road. You do that all the time. Do we, need oh, yeah. to, do we need to hang out down there a lot more and watch you? No, I wouldn't. You about yeah. smacked that semi. Where were no, you? I, you about you about ended up dead and paled on the front of a semi. No, that's just typical. That's just the road to cruise in. I don't want to talk anymore. Okay. Let's go to jail. We'll see you back at the station. Right now he's under arrest for DUI and attempting to elude, and we're heading out to the station right now to get the processing done, and he'll be asked a bunch of questions about the DUI and asked to submit to the uh, breathalyzer, uh, and then he'll be booked in. You want him going in with the cuffs in the front? Yeah, it seems very good. Step in. Thank you. Yep. 
See this line right here? Okay. Now listen to me until I tell you to start, okay? Don't fall over. What I want you to do, you listen? You're going to take nine steps, heel to toe. One. Okay. You have the right, listen to me, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Okay, you have the right to talk to a lawyer and to have him present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any of the questions or make any statements. You understand the rights I've explained to you? Yes, sir. Okay. You can relax. Sit back and relax. Okay. Easy for you, sir. Okay, what I want you to do is take a long, deep breath and blow into there until I tell you to stop, okay? You gotta keep blowing. Okay, you ready? Hit it anytime you're ready. Go. Until the tone stops. Take a deep breath and keep blowing. You gotta blow hard. Keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing, keep going. Almost there. You almost got it. Keep going. Okay. That's good. I messed up. Let me do these. No. Oh, come on. Got it. That's it. Right there. What's that mean? What's that mean? Damn. You guys all drink, don't you? Everybody here drinks, right? I don't so that means instead of stopping at three, I drank four. We got somewhere for your seat. We got room for you for a little bit. Before you know it, you'll be out of here. Here's a character. You <laughs> what? I, uh... My short stint in college, I took a uh, criminal justice class. And the instructor was at the front of the class, and he looks at everybody, and he, he'd been a police officer since 1940-something. He served in the MPs in World War II, and he just took it for granted that if you took his class, that's what, by golly, that's what you were going to do is be a police officer. And he looked at everybody in the room and said, someday when you're police officers, you'll understand why I'm saying these things. Our address here is for Northbound. We've got a guy pushing a hot water heater in a cart down the street, and we're going to see what's up with this. Hey, come here, partner. Where'd you get this at? See that vacant lot right there? Somebody just dumped it a few minutes ago. This thing's still leaking water, man. Yeah. Somebody just dumped it, and you just picked it up at 2 o'clock in the morning. Uh -huh. That thing was just cut. Yeah. They just dumped it. They just dumped it. I don't have nothing to cut it with. Tell you what, partner. Uh, I'm going to let go of your hands. So I want you to put them back right. behind your back, okay? No Don't give me no problems. No All right? Problem. Let's go. I need to Why do you have all these tools if it was just laying in an open lot? God. What's your mask for? This. Be wearing it. Dude, I got allergies, though. Uh... I'm going to walk back here and see if I can't find anything. You be all right with him? Yeah, I'm fine. Handcuff? Are you a ninja? No. You are? I got a brown belt and a quiet condo, black belt, second degree black belt and karate. No kidding? Mm -hmm. Pipes were laying with it? Yep. All of it together, package deal? No. I just I jump, man. This has all been sawed off, too, because there's still shavings laying down in there. I, like I said, I just seen somebody dumping it. I went and got my car and just got it. It's still steaming. Yeah. The water's still hot. Yeah. They just dumped it. We'll walk over here, Jason. <laughs> I think I should pretty, it's pretty easy. Do you have your ID on you? No, I said uh, no. So you saw him dump it and then you picked it up? I just seen him dump it and I went and got that. You know, hey, ain't no So business. where exactly did they dump it? Okay, you see where he's at right now? Yep. Okay. Now watch. Right there, where he goes to that lot right there, right there on that over corner. in that lot. Then why were you coming from this direction? Or did you just cross the street? I just crossed the street, brother. What was your last address you lived at? My last address? Where do you get mail? 
I don't need any mail. I haven't had mail in. Did you get any. checks or anything? No. You want to come clean now and what happened? I'm telling you, I seen them guys dumping this stuff. I got my cart because I be sleeping in the garage up there. I just got my cart and got it, man. I mean, because I can sell that kind of stuff. Simple as that. Okay. I just want to know. I mean, you followed your water trail right up to the business. Well, I seen where they dumped it, dog. So, you know, I even got my car, and my car don't have no water on it except for... There's water in here, man. It's coming out of here. Yeah, I know. I just seen them dump it, so I just went and got it, dog. Come on. Let's not, let's not play games with each other. I'm not other. playing games. Hey, man, I junk across here all the time. Okay. I seen them dump it. I can sell that junk, so I just got it. As simple as that. We call the owner of that business down and have him look at this and compare the serial numbers. It's not going to be from his business. I have the slightest idea. All I've seen them is dump it. Since they dumped it, I picked it up. What's up, dude? You got it. Yeah. I'm the one who's always selling stuff. Oh, that's right. Yeah, there you go. Whenever I see junk, I guess it. He said he saw somebody dump it, and he immediately went over and retrieved it. Yeah. And do you have TV or sprinkle or something? No, but I got some amps for it. Huh? Just some amps for it. Oh, because I, I, I might, I got cancer, so oh, I. Okay. Well, let's put it back. Over. You have cancer? Uh huh. I got COVID and cancer. Okay. And so I get sick a lot, so I just keep that kind of stuff on. Okay, well, let's just keep it on. Outstanding. No. Huh? I said that's great. The wagon, you ready for him to go? Yeah, we can go and load him up. We got this guy uh, pushing this hot water heater down the street at 2 o'clock in the morning. Obviously, it doesn't look right. He says he just found it in the uh, in the alley. And uh, the water's still steaming, and there's fresh filings in the pipes where he's cut it. So walk back here, and there's just a solid trail of water leading from that hot water heater all the way back through this alley. Boy, it doesn't take a much more than common sense to figure this crime out. It's like he stopped right here and rested a little. It's all the way back in through here. You still see it starting to dry up a little bit. How do you think he got in, Sarge? Do you think he just kicked it or pried it open? Didn't see any prime marks, just look like he might have been Well, just right here, maybe. And the water trail comes all the way on in here. This business loops back around. And into this bathroom where you can see where they all, everything he cuts right here. And he had everything to cut this stuff. He had uh, 10 snips to cut this. And then uh, it looks like maybe he just wrenched that off there, tried to cover it up to stop the water. And uh, there's the vent. He just ripped it all out and he's carrying a piece of the vent pipe and everything else right along with it. He brought, like most burglars, he brought all the, all the tools he needed with him. And he can improvise with anything else. It just goes to show you never know what you're going to come across at 2.30 in the morning. A guy carrying a hot water heater. Now he's in hot water, I guess. Well, I got into law enforcement after I uh, left college. I was a finance major in college. Decided I wanted something more challenging, wanted something more exciting. Didn't want to hit the office every day. I wanted to be out among people in the streets. I don't take the job home with me. When I uh, when I leave work, it work stays at work. I got a I got a nice family to go home to. Uh, it's, there's nothing more enjoyable than going home and spending time with the family. It's gonna be a 10 14 from this location of tenants. We're not to a disturbance here. Dispatch advised that the the uh, victims possibly uh, locked away inside the residence, being beaten by a man. He's supposed to not. Being allowed anyone in the house. What do you got here? They're making the deer up there yelling, trying to get out. He's got her locked in the third floor. He's illegal. 
She told him to leave, and he said he'd kill her first. And this is my house. Okay. This is your house? Yes, sir. And it's her daughter. And it's my child. Let me in, Lord. Now. Police, man. Let me see your hands. See your hands. Keep them out where I can see them. Go ahead and touch the wall. Keep hands on the wall. Hands on the wall here. Some people were, came to look for him, and I went with them to look for him, and he came home. He's been drinking. I don't know what's wrong with him. Hey, I heard him hit you two times, he child. He didn't hit me. He hit the wall. I heard him slap you twice, child. Don't give me no s***. I stood on them stairs with no sound. And I've heard the thumps up here on the floor. Hey, I've had it. bottle. He's been stomping. Well, I don't care. Not. He's gone. Well, they're not. No, no, you're gone. Lorena. There's no Lorena. No more. Easy, man. Easy. Lorena. Can we sit down, Apollo? Okay. No, Lorena. You're not going to see me. No, you're not going to see me. No. No. You're not going to see me. Back up here. This is the wall. Lorena. Lorena. I see you. Lorena. I don't know why he's like this. He went with his friends. He lived with his friends, and I went and looked for him, and I found him with his friends, and I told him, I said, these people are looking for you, and I'm going home. He said no, and he grabbed me by the hair, and he brought me home, and we've been up here fighting ever since. Are you, are you guys boyfriend girlfriend? He's illegal. Okay. Well, this is obviously domestic violence under state law. If you don't find the ticket, I'm going to. Okay. Well, he's going to go to jail anyway. But I don't want him out. Okay. Go ahead. We'll go ahead and put him in. She's going to sign a ticket for better. Get him in your car? Yeah. I'll take it. All right, man. Let me get the car here. Okay. Okay, we're going to pass you down one more time before we put you in the car. You got any weapons or drugs on you? Lorena! Lorena! What's in your pocket here? Lorena! Nice little roll on that one, eh? Lorena! Lorena! She wants to talk to somebody, too. When we get him in the car, we'll go ahead and... She's probably going to say something about this. Lorena! And put him in the car. Yeah, I don't know. We're going to talk to the uh, girlfriend. She wanted to talk to us while we were up there, but she wanted to talk to him with him out of, out of the, the picture here. So maybe she's got something she can tell us about this. She might have more information. She said that he had some methamphetamine or something on him. And he knows he's not supposed to be around her because she's on parole. Okay. And she is scared to death because he has threatened to kill her if he gets out. Okay. And like I Let's said, go talk to her, huh? he can come in this house with no key. Is that meth in his pocket there? Yeah, he showed it to me upstairs. I didn't know that he had it, and I went to look for him. But he keeps thinking we wouldn't do anything. And I just reached... I reached, I reached the end. I ha I've been drinking. I will not drive my car when I drink. I gave her my car said, go call the police. And, and I heard her, her with no sirens. And I told Jackie, I said, you need to go up and see what's going on. It's because he has a knife upstairs. And he, he, I, when I sat down on the bed, I put my feet over it so that he couldn't get it. And he pushed me out of the way to try and get it. And I screamed. Do you have a clue with that knife? But see the marks on her? Yeah. Those, Those are, are from him. him. And marks that you can't show you. He's told me before. And he says when he gets out, he's he going to come back and kill him. He says if he ever gets out, he's going to come back and kill me. He says if they deport him, all, they're, all he's going to do is come back and kill me. He'll be in jail for a little bit longer now that we have the mess. That's okay. why I asked you to come back in so I can tell you about okay. it. Okay. I'm on felony parole. I don't want to no. get in any yeah. trouble. Is there any way we can keep a watch on the house? Because we yes. do not have a working telephone here. We will put an occasional watch on the house. Okay. It's a good feeling. You, you come to these calls and uh, we're approaching the door. Uh, you heard her screaming. Uh, Get in there. He's a big man, whooping up on her until you put the bracelets on him, and he starts to start to do his little crying song on you. It feels good to actually help somebody. 
plus we got a little bit extra with the dope. The bad guy goes to jail.